Bangham Smurf caught his first body at nine years old for his sister. Not only that, his mother was a gangster and his pops had him playing with guns as a kid. That's how he got involved in a lifestyle that which later led him into protecting 50 Cent. 50 got shot nine times, including one in the face for song Ghetto Quran. After getting out the hospital, 50 moved with a girlfriend out the state to recoup and recover and brung Smurf to live with him. After Get Rich or Die Try and Release, G-Unit had a promotion deal at the time for over a million, and 50 Cent gave Smurf 17%, which makes 50 the owner of the other 83%, and took Smurf on the G-Unit tour. 50 spoken to him numerous times about him causing trouble already. He told him many of times, Smurf, you got to chill out. One day on tour in Boston, they're leaving the hotel in the morning. Smurf and Young Buck rolling weed and here arguing. He sees it's Marcus, but Smurf always wanted to beat up Marcus because Marcus choked out a hotel security and Smurf never told 50 who did it. But Smurf got in trouble behind that when 50 found out because they could have gotten sued and all of that could have fell back on 50 and messed up his deal. 50 told Smurf he was supposed to at least be aware of the situation. So they at the hotel in Boston. Smurf hear commotion from outside. It's Marcus. Smurf goes out there. Marcus is accusing Jesse for stealing his Mitchell and Ness jersey. You know, the old school throwbacks. Jesse denies it, though. Marcus tells him, all right, lift up your shirt. Lift the bottom of your jersey up. I got a cum stain on it. He lift up the bottom of the jersey. There was a stain. Marcus tells Jesse, you go meet me around the corner and tell Smurf, hey, you go get your gun. So Smurf took that as disrespect, like, you know, because Smurf known for, you know, Smurf get down with the, with, you know, Smurf, she a shooter. So he, he like, what do you think I can't fight? I don't need to go get my gun. He took that as disrespect, punched Marcus in the face instantly. Then Jesse beat Marcus up after that, right? So 50 come running off the bus with Malik and asked Smurf, yo, what happened? Smurf told him, you ask your man what happened. Talking about Marcus. Marcus remained quiet, looking guilty. So 50 looks at Shy Money and tells him, send all of them home. Smurf never liked Marcus during the whole tour because Marcus sleeping in his hotel suites. Uh, you know, they taking throwback jerseys out of the box before Smurf and G-Unit could get to him. And they sleeping in double bunks. They got to carry all the guns. You know, Marcus, he's the road manager. He worked for Violator Management Company. Chris Lottie assistant. He rich already. So Smurf just, he on one. He just tripping. He know all of this, right? So this is why Smurf never liked him, right? Basically, right? So when they when they go to the next state, they get into another hotel and they booked all three of their tickets. And then Smurf tried to go to 50's hotel room, but security stopped him. You know, so they, they, they kind of felt bad for Smurf. Like, okay, you know, he used to rock with us. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go knock on the door for him. They knock on 50's door, but 50 didn't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? So Smurf like, oh, fuck it, I'm out. You know, so he sent all three of them home, and all of their flights was together. Smurf and Jesse squashed the beef on the plane back to Queens, right? They all from Queens. Later, Smurf wound up squashing the beef with Marcus in Queens, too, in the hood, too. He seen him in Southside and ended up squashing it, right? So this where the this where the beef come in, right? Smurf in the hood trying to put together a group, Domination, that never did nothing, right? Smurf got caught up in the streets. Wind up going back to jail, so he reached out to 50, right, for some help. But 50 said, you, know, you ain't go to jail on my watch, and I ain't helping you, Smurf. Smurf ended up getting bailed out by his uh, uncle, right? Smurf get home, he hit 50 up. 50 say, look, man, the company that's worth 1.3, he said, if you want to sign your percentage back, I give you $10,000. I mail you the paperwork right now. Sign it and send it back. Smurf signed the paperwork ignorantly without a lawyer. 50 cents of $10,000. Smurf's end of the deal is $1.3 million. The company is worth way more than that. So he forfeited the $1.2 million back to the company just for $10,000. Smurf put that money on a lawyer for the case he was out on bail for, didn't win the case, and got sentenced three to four years and got deported to Trinidad. When he got out, that's where he's been ever since. He been mad at 50 ever since, and he think 50 owe him something. And he signed all his ownership away for $10,000. So that's the fallout 
between Bang of Smurf and 50 Cent. Is Black Unity not a slave? Y'all like these videos? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Smack that notification bell. I'm out.